The Nassau County Sheriff's Office confirms one of its deputies was involved in a crash where the other driver was hit and killed at the scene. This is video from that scene yesterday. The crash happening about 1.30 in the afternoon it was on State Road 200 near Daydream Avenue. That's where News 4 Jax reporter Marilyn Parker joins us from now live. Marilyn, tell us about the call the deputy was responding to right before that crash. So according to the calls for service, it was for a human trafficking case from an agriculture officer needing assistance, but the deputy didn't get there. The incident or the accident happened right at this intersection. Take a look at the road. You can see tire marks right there and it leads you right up against the sidewalk. A chunk of it broken off and even further down into the grass. You can see even more of those tire marks. Now, just within the last few hours, someone came and put flowers up against this pole. You can only imagine how the family of the victim is feeling as well as that deputy. Deputy. From Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper, it's heartbreaking when anyone is killed in a traffic crash. We want to send our prayers and condolences to the family who lost a loved one in this tragic, unfortunate accident. He sent the statement Monday after confirming one of their deputies hit and killed a man in a crash Sunday afternoon. We spoke with News for Jack's crime and safety expert Lakeisha Burton about this case. When officers are responding to calls, they have so many different things in mind. Safety is always at the forefront. So when something like this happens, it's very tragic. Here's the calls for service report. It starts at 113. A deputy is responding to a high priority possible human trafficking case. Just eight minutes later, the call changes to a crash involving that deputy in another car. We got this picture from a viewer showing an SUV flipped on its side and a blue car with damage to its right side. Here's another picture from a viewer showing the patrol car being towed away. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, the deputy is 27 years old. The driver of the blue car was 31 from Fernandina Beach. State Road 200 can be very busy, so here's the information we know from FHP. Let's change Drone 4's perspective. The deputy was coming down State Road 200 from this way, and there was a driver making a left turn onto Daydream Avenue. That's when the deputy hit that driver's right side. Now, a key part of this investigation is going to be if that deputy had their lights and sirens activated. Typically, police officers activate their lights and sirens if they are responding to an emergency. So we just have to wait and see what the emergency was. So it definitely, um, there's some criteria to determine when should utilize their lights and sirens and speed to a call. Burton says if it's determined the officer did not use his lights or sirens, he could face charges. We asked both FHP and the sheriff's office about this, and both agencies say they are checking. FHP is investigating this crash. The sheriff's office says that the deputy is not on administrative leave at this time, but they're waiting for the investigation to end to see if that will change. We're live in Yulee, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.